sometime around 250 BC, the mathematician Archimedes wrote a book about counting sand of all things, which we call, appropriately enough, the Sand Reckoner. You see, the Greek number system was very clumsy. Not as clumsy as, say, Roman numerals, but certainly clumsy compared to our modern system. I won't go into it here, but trust me, it was clumsy, and there was no good way of handling very large numbers. So Archimedes invented a system for handling large numbers, a bit like our modern scientific notation. And to demonstrate how useful it was, he decided to count to the largest number that he figured anyone could ever reasonably need to use in practice. That is, he decided to count how many grains of sand would fit inside the entire cosmos. Now I'm not interested in counting sand, but in order for him to count how much sand will fit inside the cosmos, he first had to figure out how big the cosmos is, and I am interested in that. So in his book, he first explains that most astronomers of his day took a sphere with the Earth in the middle and the Sun on the edge and called that the cosmos. However, Archimedes wants to be conservative and count the largest number of grains of sand one could possibly ever have to deal with. So he tells us that one of his colleagues thought the cosmos was many times greater in size. Furthermore, this man believed that the Earth rotates around an axis once a day and revolves in a circle around the Sun while the sun and fixed stars remain unmoved. And the stars are so far away that our solar system is but the size of a dot in comparison. And so this is the cosmos that Archimedes would use for counting his grains of sand. And of course, unbeknownst to Archimedes, this cosmos was actually the correct model. Today we call it a heliocentric model. Thus, by about the year 250 BC, over 1700 years before Copernicus, there existed at least one man who believed that the Earth rotated on its axis once a day and revolved around the sun once a year, and that the stars are all very far away. So who was this colleague of Archimedes who got so much right? Aristarchus of Samos. <laughs>